being one of the fastest sinking cities on the planet. Indonesia's capital, Jakarta, could potentially be on the brink of a disaster. Jakarta is known for its uh, high levels of pollution and is prone to floods and earthquakes. The city has been sinking at an alarming rate. Environmental experts predict that at this rate, the island might be entirely underwater by the year 2050. Several paths across the country are already submerged. Since early 2000s, some of the villages have remained permanently flooded. Across the Indonesian capital, roads have been also bearing the brunt. Break walls have been swallowed and buildings have been left abandoned due to the rising levels of water. Jakarta and other parts of Indonesia are linked to the Java Sea and serve as an exit point for a handful of major rivers that evidently subject the land to even more sinking. Ya, dulu enggak, dulu mengenggak kayak begini, mas enak. Terus laut juga masih bagus, pasirnya masih bagus, kita masih masih bisa mandian, masih cetek. Enggak kayak sekarang enggak bisa, airnya udah keruh, udah kotor. Terus kalau tiap mau baratan banjir. Meanwhile, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo is considering to move the nation's capital to the island of Borneo. This move comes in the face of Jakarta being increasingly vulnerable to disasters, both natural and man-made. July 2019 officially was the Earth was the planet's hottest month on record. It has beaten the record of June 2019, which had been the hottest ever month uh, in recorded history. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration of the U.S. announced that July 2019 was the planet's hottest month on record, with global temperatures averaging 62.13 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 1.71 degrees above the 20th century average. Now this year's July beat the July in 2016 for the hottest month of record by 0.05 degrees. Records date back to 1880. The areas that had higher temperatures than normal were Alaska, Central Europe, northern and southwestern parts of Asia and parts of Africa and Australia. Climate change is real and there is enough evidence to prove it. Signs have been coming in from across the world at an alarming rate. No surprises then that July was recorded as the hottest month on the planet. Consequences of this climate change or global warming have been seen in multiple parts. Even the ski stations in Chile are facing a tough time. Set up at the foothills of the Andes Mountains, these stations are facing a high shortage of natural snow. But thanks to artificial snow, snow cannons, the erection of fences and a tailored management system, these stations have managed to keep their business alive. Snow cannons churn out snowflakes from water in conditions of high humidity and low temperatures. The station at El Colorado has already spent over $4 million to buy snow cannons. The budget is expected to reach over $10 million in the coming years. Even though the stations are functioning only at 70% capacity, this has brought in a lot of delight to the visitors. A combine of climate change and pollution brought about less and less snow to the central Andes. This year, Chile has recorded its driest winter in six decades with, its, uh, with snowing um, only noticed thrice and never more than 30 centimeters.